Sunshine, and this is the Playground Experience. We have our lovely co-host here, April Williams and Kathy D. Today's topic, I got to use my cue card today, positive momentum and how to hold the line. Uh, we know with everything that's going on, uh, it is a lot of things going on that are pretty much tell us to kind of get off track. Uh, we know that we need to really kind of anchor down no matter what the circumstances are. We don't care about the energies or what people are talking to us or saying to us that we have to find that way to kind of keep on pushing and pressing on regardless of what is going around in our surroundings. Not even on the outside. They're showing me a storm and saying also in the center of it all, too. You've got to find that calm there and how you can be able to keep that momentum going even when you're standing still, even when you're moving forward, even when you don't see your way, you still have to press forward on that. So that's today's topic, because I think that's something that we really truly need to have, because we have, again, we got this lion's gate that's coming in, and that represents so many different energies also that are coming in as well. And we need to get prepared for that. And especially we're in um, officially in lion season, which is the season of the heart. Um, understand that we got our own Leo here, uh, April Williams here in the house, in his house, and she is also. We know, uh, ha, ha, ha. So we know also that. Uh, oh, oh, wait, hold up! Somebody go get the lion oh, tamer. Me, Somebody go me, get the lion me. tamer. She's out of cage, y'all. <laughs> so we know that we have to use that, especially and prepare because this is lion season, which we're in the heart finding courage to do things. And so this is a very good topic, I think, and very poignant for the time that we're having now. So I'm gonna pass it on to my co-host so they can kind of go in here and put their own uh, two cents on it and as far as whatever things that they see about what we're talking about today's topic. Well, guess what? If you're here, you made it. If you're here, you've done the work. If you're here, we thank you. Please like and subscribe. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, twin flame journey ain't no joke it is not for the uh week of heart season. um and guess what even if you feel sometimes like your heart is weak well you got to <laughs> so <laughs> if you're feeling weak they're probably feeling strong and if you're feeling strong they're probably feeling strong with you all right <laughs> we're not going down that down, down that negative rabbit hole um <laughs> The main thing about staying in positive momentum is being okay with being when you feel like you're not. And when you feel like you're not, at least you're able to acknowledge it versus you a year ago or two years ago when you weren't even acknowledging the dark aspects or the shadow self. And we're shedding this. We're purifying. It. And this is clearly what's happening, especially now with this Lionsgate energy. All of us are feeling the tug and the pull. And look at what's happening externally in terms of politics and all this stuff. Because as within, so without. So my main thing with maintaining positive momentum is seeing what is actually holding us back and slowing us down. Um, Divine Sunshine was so kind enough to create a circle and in that circle we've been able to explore so many things and i know kathy d has a ton of tools or little things we can do to kind of get out of our own way and that has been kind of like the real deal holy field of maintaining who and what is my true essence and so you know Sometimes the negative self-talk, sometimes uh, some of the mantras that were repeated at you from when you were a child or, you know, what you absorb through media, through your eye gates, through your ear gates, even little lyrics and, and uh, music can sometimes start to, uh, what they call it, an earworm, <laughs> can sometimes start to pick away at you. And mm -hmm. if you're here enough, you allow yourself to kind of release and detach from that. And that is one of the ways I myself in positive momentum. I also like to keep my body moving. Like when I feel really stiff, I don't feel free in the mind. Pain gives you kind of a, uh, what you are thinking or what you're feeling you attract, right? So I've learned that, okay, if my body's stiff and hurting, I need to figure out how to relax, how to stretch, how to open up. 
And, you know, obviously there's several layers because we're very spiritual women who've got gifts out the wazoo. <laughs> but we, we work with our temples. We have our holy temple and how to keep it purified, how to keep the mind pure. Now, I'm not saying I don't ever think negative thoughts. That's not even close to reality. But I know how to navigate with them and through them and what they're for. And sometimes, you know, I hear something, oh, that's just my ego trying to protect me or keep things the same because I know I'm onto something. Or, oh, I just stubbed my toe. Oh, this pain. Oh, and I, I should have left this there. And I start picking at it. It's like, no, you know what? All this is here to make me slow down and say, where am I cluttered inside? Where am I, you know, stubbing my, where am I stubbing my inner toe? <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of weird. Anyway, that was a weird analogy, but I think you understand <laughs> where I'm coming at it. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that wasn't weird. I got that. And I, I like that understanding that when you're saying the big toe like that, because we kind of often do do that. So, no, I tell it wasn't rap of old material. <laughs> it's a gopher hole, just a shallow little. There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Kathy D, what's your take on it? Well, well, I like adding on to what, you know, April had said, the main thing we have to do is like, if you've gotten this far in the journey, you've got to be okay with being where you are. And uh, one of my, my favorite mantras, and especially when things are seeming hard or seeming tough or difficult, everything is happening for me in perfect time. Mm -hmm. It's not happening to me. So hear me on that. It's not happening to me. It's happening for me in perfect time. And that's what we've got to, you know, remind ourselves of that it might not be happening like we want it to, but it's happening for us in perfect time. And the last thing is, you know, definitely trust your body, trust those feelings and, and sit with them. And that's probably the hardest thing, especially when you have things like fear and things like that, but sit with them and then ask yourself, is this mine? If it's not, send it away. If it is, then investigate it. Where's it coming from? And, um, you know, to keep that momentum going, there are, there are some things you've got to, to do. And one is definitely, you've got to have union with yourself. That's the first thing. And that's, I don't care if this is a twin flame relationship, a soulmate relationship, or just in general, you want a relationship. You have to have union with yourself. You have to be okay with who you are. We hear it all the time. Would you date yourself? You know, and that's where <laughs> that's where you you've got to you've got to be with that, and then you've got to have that union with the soul family. That means you have to let people in and trust, and trust that unconditional love to understand that they don't have an ulterior motive. They just want to love you, and when you get to that point. And you really feel it, it's the most amazing thing in the world. And you think to yourself, why did I wait so long for this? And and the last one, ladies, and if we have any gentlemen out there, whoever, DFs, that are, are leading this uh, adventure, get rid of your karmic, whatever it is. You're going to sit there and complain about them and what they do. You are them and they are you. And I saw when I was on vacation, I saw the coolest sign and I took a picture of it and it says, I am my beloved and my beloved is me. Mm. And I was like, and, and actually that was in an Amish store. So I'm like, okay, you know, they were onto something here. Just the simple life. Just the simple life. And mm. that's it. So get rid of it, whatever it is. If it's a, a karmic parent, a karmic family member, a friend, uh, a partner, if you've got one a lifestyle, something, evaluate your life, sit down and look at it and say, where are things just not, where do I don't, where, when I wake up in the morning, do I think I don't want to do that? And then reevaluate what it is. You know, you could get up and think I got to clean the bathrooms. I don't want to do that. Well, I don't know anybody that says I get to clean the bathroom today. But if your family doesn't, respect it and they go and trash it, you know, then of course you don't want to clean it because you know, you're going to have to do it again. Mm -hmm. So then you need to reevaluate some things on how you handle. Maybe it's time for them to clean the bathroom. 
Um, but evaluate these things. Everything that you say about, you know, your DM, there's a connection. So find your unions, get rid of your karmic, unconditional love, and, and take care of you. Uh, I heard uh, Tarot Boss today, and I, I don't know if it was from a couple of days ago or when, but he did one. And um, it says that we're going to be queens when the DM comes in as a page. So if you knew that was all that was holding you up, then get there. You know what you know what you know, and you know deep inside what you need to do. We've got to quit being afraid. We've got to quit being meek. And we've got to stand up and be the, you know, the goddesses that we are. And that's how you keep that momentum going. You focus on you. Take that energy you'd put on him and focus it on you. Hey, cool. I've got something. Did you have some aha moment? Well, yes. Um, it's like a moving Venn diagram. <laughs> I'm all about Venn diagrams. I'm a big, big, out of when they taught us how to take notes, I was all about the Venn diagrams, okay? So human and goddess and the circle overlaps. And when you fully step into your full divinity, you have stepped and accepted your full goddesshood. Now there'll be times because it's shifting and moving. There'll be times when it pulls itself apart and you go back into a little bit of your triggering or your wounding, but that's what the goddess says. She pulls it out. She says, hey, let's look at this. How did it serve us? How can we now change it into what we really need? And while Kathy D was talking, I was thinking about the mirroring. And uh, mm -hmm. I had people talk smack about their counterpart, right? Which is clearly not what you want, right? Because you don't want somebody talking smack about you um, in the relationship. So you get to look at that and you get to turn those words into what am I doing that is a, that is similar mm -hmm. or same, same, but different. Right? And it might be in the form of even a karmic relationship you have with yourself in your mind. Right? You can be totally hard on yourself. You can be very unforgiving about yourself or very critical or even about work. You know, there's this, I love Patricia McNeil and she mentioned um, the time for, in, like, we're all empaths to a certain extent, right? But the time for over empathy and using it as an excuse to prevent yourself from doing things, that time is over. We do not need to, oh, just because someone is feeling such a way, we, don't, we can't take away someone else's emotion. We can't change how they feel, but we can change how we relate ourselves to their situation. And so if you're caring for people and you've got kids in the mix and stuff and the kids having a temp temper tantrum, you don't decide you're going to have a temper tantrum with them because nothing gets solved, <laughs> nothing's done, right? Um, so how do we do that with it, our own selves? And we can't use it as an excuse. We're not going to allow it to be a distraction for self-sabotage. Oh, well, I was so busy helping my friend or helping so-and-so that I didn't take care of myself. I didn't honor myself. And if you need more time, that's fine. But you get to see where you're where you have been holding yourself back. Why you've been allowing yourself to have compassion for you. Um, understanding your stars. It might be even part of your astrological makeup or even your numerology numerological makeup. I was close. Anyway. Bahamas? Anyway. Um <laughs> Caribbean. Um, these are all really bad SML jokes um, that I'm living. But uh, it's not to be self-critical, it's to be aware so that you can choose. You know, there there's a lot of aspects of ourselves that we may not know, and it's a perfect opportunity to explore and get to know ourselves better. Because it's truly as we begin to understand ourselves, we begin to understand the underpinnings and workings of others. And our twin, if you're not in union already, you know that you have trigger points. You know that you may have bounced on and off each other. And for those that are stepping into the journey and want to get into union, really know yourself so that when you do meet your divine counterpart, you don't push them away with the parts of yourself you didn't want to acknowledge. 
because it's very much so a possibility of self-sacrifice. But if you can embrace both the good and what you consider to be the bad aspects of yourself and have self-acceptance, you can step into that connected space of being with flow because you both are allowing each other to both be human and divine. And as you do that, you out-process the parts of the, uh, the human that were, I would say, that need to be flushed out and you get to step into the going to be together. So, <laughs> That's a very interesting um, also concept. You even brought up and not even forward uh, momentum for yourself, but then also thinking about forward mo momentum when you're with your person as well of how you are bringing in, you got to get rid of that karmic energy within yourself, even you being in a karmic relationship, a situation, a third party. You know, I always, some kind of way, I always when I dream about it, I think of it like some stink. It's like some energy or some kind of smell that you got to kind of get rid of. And you don't want to come there with both of you all with that, the essence of whatever that you came from, that you're bringing that into you all's union. So you have to, re in order for you to do, it's almost, again, like they say in that repelling. Uh, you want for movement and you are going together, but if you all are still holding the baggage or the karma, or whatever, how you're not going to really truly get that forward movement uh, as well in that. You have to really truly be anchored into who you are um, truly. Uh, I see this card that they're bringing to me about hiding your true identity, to hiding your true self. That causes you not to be able, it's a card that has one person looking this way and another person looking this way, and she's shielded with this sheer red, um, red kind of fabric on her which means you know you really have to, some things that you have to practice in order to get that forward the move, movement you would think about you've got to anchor down to this is what they're showing me and then you having those true identity you don't know where you are you're splitting off and going into two different separate directions as well and so that's why you got to really kind of hone yourself together to know what is your vision or where are you actually your intentionality or your purpose where are you seeing yourself going? Because again, if you don't have it, you'll fall for anything or you'll find yourself skitter scattered all over the damn place and not knowing which way you're going. So that is something that, again, when we talk about that positive momentum too, we have to think about where are we going? I mean, some of us on this twin flame journey, let's just be honest, you didn't got tossed around all over the place. Kathy D, we talked about that earlier. And, you know, I think I know where I'm going. But then I listen to this and it's like, hell no, let me just stand still. Okay, no, I think I know where I'm going. And then this happens, it's like, no, uh, well, let me just stand still. You've got to find a way that even no matter what's being said or whatever you see or whatever's been done, that you are grand, grounded and rooted and you're not finding yourself being like that car split off and going into two different separate directions. When you know and you center it in and you have that purpose of the, for me now, I've been studying like mantras or this affirmations, things that help me to create that positive momentum to say, okay, this is what we're doing. Okay, I'm wonderful. I'm beautiful. I'm talented. I have a voice. I'm blah, blah, blah. Then I'm moving from that point. Everything I do, I move with that energy regardless of. And so it doesn't matter what's being thrown. If I watch this, video okay that don't resonate with my affirmation my mantra today today i'm gonna have a clear up confusion mind so that right there is confusing me because i just listened to that damn video about yada 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 or whatever it is and then i'm like mm -mm, i gotta just form my focus as far as what my mantras and my affirmations have been for that day so that's another thing that kind of helps you with that forward momentum you got to know who you are what are you standing for? What is your foundation? Because we're getting kind of tossed around here in this emotional storm, or you call these planetary storms, or retrograde, or whatever that you want to call it, because you're the one that really determines whether. Because, like I said, I've experienced that before. All damn retrogrades is going, and I remember I didn't know nothing about it, and that was the best time between myself, finding myself in union with self, and the DM that I ever had it, because I wasn't paying attention to that. So that's why I say you've got to set the intentionality as to where you're going. You've got to know who you are. So this is bringing me that card. They say you split off in two different directions. And you got to set off to know 
who are you? That's the question you should be asking. Who am I? So that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying there. Yes. That's it exactly. April. Yeah, you <laughs> have to ask yourself, who am I? Right. Mm -hmm. To get that forward momentum, because like I say, you just fall for anything. In the All right, process. everybody, let's drop in. Let's drop into our bodies. Everybody, let's okay, move. Got, oh, tap your feet, got. tap your feet, clap your hands, feel your arms, your tent. Let it go. I want you to sway back and forth. Can't get up. I got this thing Do <laughs> a circle in one direction. Take your head and belly. And now let's go in another direction. Oh. Now that we see where we are, now that we see our physical, not only our beautiful, beautiful temple, but our physical, uh, where we're stopping points, if we have any stiffness in the pain, and we are protected, right? And we're going to do our bubble, our little egg. And then we're going to just take a deep breath in. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your abdomen and your pelvic floor. And release. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, squeeze your whole center in. Hold it for and release and let air come back in. Then we'll do that one more time. Let that come in. Now this is you. This is your core. This is your center. This is your space. Now a lot of us and with the breath, release the thought. We can release the word. And you can come into the stillness. And then from here, this is where you can build. So if you find yourself feeling like you're overwhelmed, you find yourself feeling like you're out of sorts, come back to this space. Real easy. Three breaths, three squeezes, and here we are. You open up like this. Open up, open your eyes, tap your heels. Tap, tap your hands, your back. This is all we're doing is maintaining integrity of self, coming into alignment with ourselves so that we know what we can trust the universe for our next move. And we're not reacting out of emotionality, we're not um, swinging ourselves from left to right because someone is yelling around us or whatever. No, we're now within ourselves. And if you got to put headphones on because there's a lot of chaos going on, you know, putting on some kind of music or even drumming or whatever works for you, you got this center. You got your space. You got you a space of clarity that you can come back to in three breaths. Okay. Well, enjoy that. It's easy, easy peasy. So we're going to tap, we're going to ground in. <laughs> I felt myself floating. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Get your feet on the ground. Right. Yeah, three fingers. This is a Donna Eden trick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but your sternum, you go down. Uh huh. Where am I? I don't know. Uh, get right on the necklace. Okay. Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> the point is and another <laughs> another great thing to do is record your own voice saying your mantra over and over if you're finding you're really having trouble with it if you're having trouble like mine is you know everything happens for me in you know perfect timing if you're having trouble with that record it in your voice and listen to it as you go to sleep put it on loop or if you don't know how to do that just record an hour's worth of you saying it over and over and over again. it's not going to hurt anything but listen to that and get it in there because that's going to help build that up subconsciously because our emotions and so things that we are talking ourselves out of are coming from the conscious, not the subconscious. Mm -hmm. So we need that stronger. If you're going to think about a muscle, think about your subconscious being your stronger muscle than your conscious. Mm -hmm. And that's where your truth lies. And that's where you are. And as soon as you grab onto that root of believing that, you know, that you're beautiful, that you're gorgeous, that you're smart, that you're abundant, that you're wild. I mean, don't don't just be abundant. Be wildly abundant. What is it? Um, Jupiter 11, 11 says, um, I'm obscenely abundant. You know, you, use these great words. Grab a thesaurus. Look them up. Use these great words because that's what we are. 
That's really what quit. We got to quit playing small. Sure. You got to look at it this way. The chances of meeting when you look at it, and I've done like some reading and some research and all this on it. What they say, the chances of actually meeting your flame it, it's quite rare when you figure how many people are in the world. And so the fact that we have in some way, shape or form, either energetically, you know, whatever in person over the internet, however, but you have an idea or you know, they're out there. You're above the curve. You're above average. Don't play it small. Build yourself up because you are, that means, and you know what? You need to remember it this way too. Even when things aren't going great or aren't going like they should, remember you're above the curve, you're above average, and you have something spectacular. Not average, not mediocre, not eh, okay. You have something spectacular to do for the human race, for our planet, for our world, and you're needed. Remember that. And so when you're trying to figure out who you are, remember that. that. You are worth it. You are worth your time. You are worth your energy. You are worth your focus. You are worth that self-discipline, right? Mm -hmm. Because the self-discipline keeps you in momentum. That self-discipline keeps you getting towards whatever goal you have set for yourself. And... You know, there is no real escape. There's only embracing it and facing it. And it's okay if it's not so pretty, but it will change it. It will become the beauty that is you. You were put here to assist Earth and her, her assist Earth and her frequency. <laughs> so just be glad that you're here to even see that you do the work. And when you have, let's say you have a, a realization or something that seems really dark or heavy. Congratulations, because you can clear it now. If you didn't see it or feel it or experience it, you could not be able to change it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about changing other people. I'm talking about changing yourself and your relationship. Yeah, you can't change other people. I mean, the karma can even be a job that you hate, that brings you down every day, or see certain people that clearly don't have your best interests. Um, being too nice, like a Passover pop, uh, like just letting things kind of go through the wayside, allowing abusers to stay in your life, even if they're subtle, subtly manipulating you, you get to stand up for yourself. And the thing is, it will change. And it's either you and them and that relationship and that dynamic changing and how they speak to you changes, or you even step yourself into another space. Because... Uh -huh. Like Kathy D is saying, this is happening for us. And I'm so thankful for that. So thank you. It's happening for me. <laughs> um, whew, positive momentum, baby. Sometimes positive momentum can look like a dark night of the soul. And we get to be realistic about that. And you can reach out to people, but also realize that it's an inside job. Nobody can take away your pain or suffering. You get to process it and then allow it to become different. You are not your story, but it sure does feel like it sometimes. And, and that's so true. We've got to, and remember like Friday is our live Q and A. So write down these questions as they come to you. If you've got questions about how do you figure out who I am or, or what do I do in this situation? We're here. And you know, you've got the three of us that can answer these questions in every one of our journeys, every one of our dark night of the soul. Has been extremely intense, <laughs> but we've been there to be able to support each other through it. Um, what's beautiful about having a triad of women is being able to sound, um, bounce this off of each other. And that's, the thing we're not all we're also holding each other to our higher standard we know what the other person wants for themselves so if someone repeats a negative mantra or something like that we say hey that's not where you're at hey i hear you saying this and that's old paradigm you you're that you're slipping come back to us and it's like, oh yeah thank you you know um i'm the queen of like 
language correction for the universe, right? <laughs> like, I'm the universe listening to you. What are you saying? And would you say that to your best friend? Would you say that to your child? These are the things that make, uh, uh, these are the questions that allow you to open up into being kinder to yourself and allowing yourself to flow with your actual journey. Yeah, it was something else they bought to me uh, at the Lemon Dog House. She's like, I won't go out. Um, another thing for Ford Momentum they had bought to me was uh, also uh, gratitude. They said mm -hmm. gratitude is also a way of helping you to make sure that you get that uh, Ford Momentum because the more that you are thankful for, the more things they throw in your path. It's almost like, uh, <laughs> they're showing me again, uh, what is it like sometimes they like put like, uh, if you don't know what your next step is, it's like they put like another a uh, stone for you to step on and another stone for you to step on. So each time when you give gratitude, that is another way for them to keep forward momentum into a, a, your path of where you need to be going. So they're helping you, guiding you uh, by giving you the next steps to do that. So also this practice doing that as well um, to keep yourself with that positive um, momentum as far as giving thankful for everything. I thought about Kathy D before I had to leave. The last thing I heard was she saying, you know, it, out of the, all of the people in the world, you know, be grateful that you have made contact, whether it's 5D or 3D with your divine counterpart. Um, because again, there's many that have not. Uh, and just you knowing that you're a twin, you're ahead of the curve too. There's some walking around there unknowing and not knowing their role as well too. So that's something to give yourself also, like they said in class, give yourself a pat on the back. So that's something else that you can also give yourself a pat on the back to and gratitude helps to keep that forward movement as well um, with that. So I just wanted to add that too. Mm -mm. Um, if you have anything about maybe the energies uh, for what we can do to help stay on momentum or stay positive? Uh, well, I do, I have uh, these new cards. I've been told, they told me I needed to work with water uh, my new person that I've been working with that has helped me. Um, mm -hmm. And she was saying that, and I thought about you saying about the goddess of uh, water and flow. And she's like, you need to work with that more. Um, you're not, I'm not going to be like dream queen and have a glass of water and look at it. <laughs> I haven't tried that out. I'm not going to try that's her, um, her niche. But uh, I was like, okay. She's like, no, you need to have water with you uh, while you're doing that because you and water work well. Oh, I'm so is pretty amazing. She doesn't actually need the water. I watched her intro video about how she does. What she does. She does it as a as a a medium of expression, so that you are yeah. coming exactly. from somewhere versus her just like. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I've seen her also look into it and use the, the the candle and look at the water too and be able to kind of to see. Mm -hmm. So that's what you mean by medium of expression. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, and so when um, I pulled the cards, they said in order, ooh, I got you, right? <laughs> Awareness. <laughs> in order for us to have that. So this is what this, this little mermaid is. Right. It's a voluptuous yeah. mermaid. <laughs> yeah, she reminds me of my little shape. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. Not no skinny. I don't know why they need to come on me. You know, the comedian. Them skinny itches. <laughs> I'm sorry. Really, hold on a second. Is this a spiritual show or what? <laughs> we was talking about booties the last one. Did you check right, it? That is true. That is true. You missed out on that, Kathy. And oh, no. I watched. The physical is mind. spiritual. My mom was watching. Proud of all of them. That's the one she watched. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, you so, got it from somewhere. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is uh this is car. We got awareness there. Oh, I got my little thing it came off. And then also, I have been doing good, but that's all right. I'll do it over again when I get upstairs. Uh two, two, two. Let me see. Is there anything else? Okay, tell the source. What's something else that we need to have? Oh, there we go. This is a good one. Oh, and it says hope. And she got a rainbow in there a little bit too. 
So if anybody rainbows mean anything, I see it in the background right there. Two. So to me, it's like you got to really get into it. This is water. All this is water. It's dealing again with emotions as well. So they say we have to have hope. Uh, and that's going to be also a driving force to keep us with the momentum. Because you like some people you've seen in the Kathy, we both seen in the comments too. F this uh, venture. I ain't doing this journey no more. Well, okay, if you've lost that too, that stops you from having that kind of form of momentum. So if you have that hope, that's also a nice driving force. Ooh, ooh where's the one that's driving? A nice driver. Ooh, not that one. I, I got to find right. That's also a driving force to kind of keep you. Uh, push you forward as well on that one. Okay. Was there anything you wanted to add before we close out? Nope. Just make sure you got your questions for us because I know it. this is yeah. This is a, a confusing She's kind of muted. a. No, I'm not muted. My, I'm, I'm, we, I'm, have, we have um, we each have individual issues that we are working through, and if you need some guidance or some place to go to kind of communicate this. And we, we were available on Friday for the live to ask questions with this topic because each of us have different layers and it could be from the past, it could be from the present and all have different skill sets. And one of the major things, you know, that people can do is get an alignment, body, mind, spirit and realize that the physical is divine. So if you're in constant pain and you can't even think, then we need to work on that. You know, yes. we have to provide a space to help you, especially if you're going through stuff and the doctors can't find anything and there's all this stuff. This is all ascension issues. These are all spiritual and or twin related issues. So please come with your questions. We'll be here on Friday. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ah, ah, yes. It, the true, true, true. All right, then. As we close out on this edition that we have of the playground experience, make sure that you hit one of the lovely ladies here. We have our own Kathy D. Pineapple Fish Life Coaching .com. Make sure that you hit her up. She can share some of her Jedi mind tricks that she has for you to help you with your daily lives and helping you to create that momentum through the mind that we talked about. So make sure you go to pineapplefishlifecoaching.com as well. And then also hit up our own Hawaiian goddess made for this golden life.com golden lifestyles unlimited. Make sure you go there to hit up so her nice meditation. She helps you also with the body clearing. So getting more in touch and more uh, anchored into your body, which we talked about too as well to help you find your identity and not to be all over the place. Make sure that you hit her up too so she can help you with that positive momentum as well. And then you also have me, your own Divine Sunshine. Go to DivineUnisoles11.co if you want a reading. I have also have my biggest thing that clients are asking for now is a transformational um, reading, which is helping you to understand what is sourcing that you need to areas that you need to transform yourself and that's also good for what we're talking about keeping that positive momentum as well so if you're interested in with that go and book that but you also i believe in the holistic approach as far as getting all areas of your life in order to help you push that momentum which is again to get your spirit your body and your mind together. I gotta go this way, this way. <laughs> For your mind together as well. I did good with that one. And so get all of those areas, and that's what you really is going to have that carry on that big push to go into your next level in ascension. So if you like that, go get your go to Divine Human Souls Eleven. Get the playground experience for ninety two dollars. You get an hour experience with each one of us and some bonuses on top of that. There's no way you can get uh, experts. For three hours for that price, <laughs> you know that and even you get your Blue Cross and Blue Shield ain't going to help you out with that. <laughs> that my, that so make sure that you come and hit that up. You come up with the concept. If you have an area specifically that you need help with, you do it and we will come up with a program surrounding that concept or idea that you bring to us all right also you like the good stuff that we bring it here on this channel make sure that you click like share 
and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you can get information about when we go live or when we have also posted our videos about the playground experience. All right then, Kathy D, get us on out of here. Wishing you your best life ever. See you real soon. Bye. All right. <laughs> stay blessed. Stay golden. All right. Stay uplifted. Stay motivated. Stay ascending. Nama stay. Nama go. All right. Mwah. Love you. All right. Until next time. See you this Friday. You understand? Bye. Aloha. Bye.